There's excitement for these Grants Bray's pupils as they prepare to ride the school's new scooter track for the first time. They waited for Mayor Dave Cull to arrive and after a quick speech he cut a ribbon to declare the track open. The school principal says it's a fantastic occasion for everyone. This has been in the planning probably for about two years since we first came up with the concept of putting the scooter track in here. So, you know, between the fundraising and the plans and the building, it's the, the kids have been really waiting and uh, especially the year sixes are excited that it's open before they leave. The kids did a loop of the track, led along the way by the mayor. Some even tried out the new halfpipe. Cull was among them, keen to show the kids just how well he can perform on two wheels. McKinley says this is just one of the interesting obstacles the track has to offer. We've tried to make it multi-leveled so that we've got the loop, which is um, you know just the straight riding. Uh, we've got the um, bollards here for a sort of an obstacle course, and then we've got some smaller, easier to ride ramps like the ones that go up and down. The school spent about thirty thousand dollars on the track. Around half of that money came from the school's parent teacher association and the rest was covered by school fundraisers and grants. McKinley says it's well worth the effort, as the facilities something everyone can enjoy. The scooters are quite popular in this area, lots of kids were bringing them to school, and they're difficult things to administer in a playground because of other children playing. So by putting a scooter track in here, we've actually got an area where the children can ride it and play at the lunchtime. So lots of physical activity, and um, we think that's really good for them to be able to get out and do that. Although the bell has rung, and the kids have gone home for the day, they'll be back soon to sharpen their scooter skills. David DeLorean, 39, Dunedin News.